Hey, what's up guys, MKBHD here, and today we're going to be taking a look at Android 4.1 Jelly Bean on the Galaxy Nexus. Now, if you want to get Jelly Bean early on your rooted Galaxy Nexus before the OTA comes in around mid-July, you can find those at the links down in the description. But either way, let's just get right into it. Let's take a look at the top five features of this brand new and amazingly awesome new operating system. So right off the bat, the first awesome new feature is Project Butter. And that is what's going to allow the new user interface of Android 4.1 to be extremely fast. Now the camera doesn't even really do it justice here. I reviewed the Galaxy Nexus earlier and you saw it was pretty responsive on camera. But this is like using an entirely different device. This is as responsive as the quad-core Galaxy S3. Animations are all very fast thanks to all the uh, brand new uh, tricks up Google's sleeve like triple buffering and V-Sync. And basically everything is at a very, very high frame rate. Pulling down the notification panel... Everything is extremely responsive, scrolling through lists, pinching to zoom, everything is very, very fast now. So it feels like a new device, obviously it has a new operating system, but this is just a whole new level, especially the multitasking. If I have a bunch of applications open, that multitasking is instantaneous, and I really like the fact that it's so fast. So that is the first new feature. Obviously, it's probably the best new feature for a lot of people, just wanting to experience the smoothness of Android, and it's something that a lot of people had complaints about earlier, so... Definitely the new smoothness, thanks to Project Butter, is an awesome new improvement. Number two feature is the new notification panel. And as we can already tell, Android notifications are already really impressive. But now, first of all, when we pull down the notification panel, it's a beautiful new look besides the new functionality. So you can see it tends to fade that down until it's uh, almost black. Here's a new look of the notification panel. Absolutely beautiful. And you'll notice the expanded notifications here and the contracted notifications. And basically, there are two finger gestures you can use to contract and expand notifications. So as you can see here, I have 171 new messages, and I can just go ahead and contract and expand them if I want to look at them. And if I want to dismiss it, of course, you can do the same thing as you could earlier by swiping them out. And there's also a clear all button. But here's the clean, beautiful new notifications panel. Obviously, this is a lot prettier than the last version. As you can see, when I touch the bottom, it turns cyan blue when I'm touching it. Then I let go, and it's gray. So I think that's really cool also. And you have a shortcut to your settings, and of course you have your time and your date up here, which is all in the nice, beautiful Roboto font that was introduced in Ice Cream Sandwich. So the new notification tray is absolutely top-notch. If you had something here that you could reply to, say a text message, you could swipe down and open up some options and have a reply button right there. Or if you have a missed call, you can swipe down on the missed call and hit the reply button to the missed call. So of course, you have a lot of control over your notifications here. That's just Android taking notifications to the next level. And of course, all of this maintains its super smoothness thanks to Project Butter. The third awesome new thing is new home screen improvements, which allow you to organize a lot better. So as you can see here, we have, of course, our app tray and then our widgets over to the side. But more importantly, you're able to move around widgets and position them accordingly. So if I want to drag this widget to the bottom, it'll make way for the widget that I want to add, which is pretty cool. So if I have a home screen with not a lot of room on it and I want to add another widget here, like maybe this books widget, it'll tell me where I can move things out the way. Apps will move out the way. Or this is the application for books. But stuff will move out the way to get out of the way of where I'm going to put this down. And uh, it'll even resize some things if I want to put something down that's a uh, resizable widget. So for example, bookmarks here. It's a resizable widget. I drag it to the top. It resizes it to be of course, a smaller widget because it won't take up this space here. Drag this up, move around the shortcuts, everything moves out the way. It's very, very fluid and responsive too, so no worries about having any questions about where you're going to drop something. The grid that it used to display when you're moving stuff around is gone, but you do get the levels here with the, still the hollow outline. Number four, and you can already tell we're saving the best for last, but number four is just the minor things. There are a lot of new minor improvements in Ice Cream Sandwich. For example, when I go to widgets here, we can see that there are some just very, very impressive looking widgets here. They all look very clean thanks to the new outline. Uh, say we're in a new keyboard and we want to take a, a look at our keyboard here, the new keyboard with predictive text. You can choose to download offline speech-to-text recognition. It's only 22 megabytes in the settings. And this also turns into a down arrow instead of a back arrow. So when you have your keyboard open, it turns into a down arrow. Just all this little stuff that Android and Google have, have put into their new product here. If I go ahead and open the search, uh, and I go ahead and type in the name of an app like Dropbox here, I'll see what happens. You get the icon for the Dropbox app in the search notification. So that's pretty awesome. All this little stuff is coming together to 
it really just polished the operating system up. A lot of people were complaining that Ice Cream Sandwich wasn't actually that polished. I think it's the most polished version of the operating system yet, but Jelly Bean is definitely uh, on a whole new level of polish. It has pretty much made this an, a really enjoyable option and definitely a very affordable option if you're looking to get this over like a Galaxy S3. I could see someone buying this over the Galaxy S3. This is definitely much more polished than it was before and very enjoyable and easy to use. But of course, last but not least is Google Voice Search and Google Now. You can see this new persistent search bar up at the top. If you want to, of course, Google search something, you can tap here and then you can begin typing just like any regular Google search. But Google Now is available on the lock screen. So if I go ahead and swipe up, it'll bring us to Google Now. And if you watch the video about Google Now that's in the description, you get an idea that this is really responsive to you. That's right, you. It's going to know things about you and show these cards based on what you have been telling it, what you like to search, things like that. And we're going to go ahead and go through a few voice search things. Now, you'll notice this is not quite as conversational as something like S Voice or Siri, but it is miles better than the previous versions of Android voice search. So we'll go ahead and start with something simple like some math. Let's see here. 12 plus 13. I can hear that the voice it uses is very natural, but it's pretty quiet, so I'll turn up the volume here. Next thing we'll do is some uh, geography, maybe. How big is Russia? Wow. Russia has an area of 6,592,849 square miles. So it gives that. It also gives your source, and it also gives an image. So if you're ever uncomfortable with the source, you can always check out the web results, which will always be below it. If it doesn't come up with a card for your answer, it'll just go straight to your web results. Define Nexus. Nexus, a connection or series of connections linking two or more things. Pretty cool. When is Barack Obama's birthday? Barack Obama's date of birth is August 4th, 1961. It's very fast. How tall is Usain Bolt? Usain Bolt is six feet five inches tall. Cool. What's the weather like in Los Angeles? It's 69 degrees and clear in Los Angeles. Here's the forecast for the next few days. So as you can see, it's extremely fast, very responsive. I'll ask it some more complicated questions now, like here. Are there any good pizza places nearby? As you can see, it's not as conversational, so if you ask it something that's more of a sentence than an actual search query, it'll probably deliver search results. But here, as you can see, it gives a bunch of search results for pizza places that are nearby and lets you view them on Google Maps, lets you call them, view their addresses, all sorts of cool stuff, so that's very cool. Let's check out a few more things. For example, you can use it as a tool to send a note to yourself as an email. Note to self, go big groceries tomorrow. And as you can see, it'll send a note to yourself to go get groceries tomorrow. Sends it as an email to your own email address based on what the phone has. Pretty awesome. Navigate to Galloping Hills Golf Course. So it's pretty impressive. If you let the timer run out, it'll automatically navigate to the golf course, which is pretty awesome. So as you can see, S Voice is no match for Google's new uh, voice stuff. This is a miles better. Thumbs up on this video if you want to see a comparison with maybe Siri or S Voice or something like that. If I can get my hands on an iPhone, I will definitely try to do that. So there you go, guys. That is what is new in Jelly Bean, and I'm definitely excited to see this come on newer devices. Hopefully, Samsung and HTC make some announcements to stay competitive and get the newest version on their flagship devices. Either way, if you like this video, be, feel free to give it a thumbs up, and be sure to subscribe for more videos like this. I think I just pointed, yeah, there's a subscribe button. Be sure to subscribe if you want to stay tuned for more videos like this, as I produce some all the time now. Either way, thanks for watching, and I will talk to you guys in the next video. Peace.